Haruki Murakami was born on January 12, 1949 in Kyoto, Japan. He would go on to live a normal life, owning a jazz bar in Kyoto and never having written anything of note. That is, until he turned 29. In what is now an often told story, Murakami describes the moment he decided he wanted to write a novel. The year is 1978, the place is Yingu Stadium in Tokyo. The Yakult Swallows were playing the Hiroshima Carps in a game of baseball. Dave Hilton was called to bat and as he hit the ball and it went flying across the stadium, Murakami realized he needed to write a novel. Not the same origin story as the likes of J.K. Rowling, who says she scribbled the premise of Harry Potter on a napkin in a coffee shop. Or George R.R. R. Martin, who imagined his pet turtles as kings, fighting and waging wars at each other, which ended up becoming Game of Thrones. Which ended up having a not-so-stellar last season. Oh well, what happened happened. Back to Murakami. I, any, I don't have any sisters and brothers, and uh, I'm alone in the house. So, I have three things to help me. The cat and the books, and the music. Ten months after deciding to write his first novel, Hear the Wind Sing was finally released. But success wasn't overnight for Murakami. He would go on to write Pinball in 1973 in 1980, and also A Wild Sheep Chase in 1982. These four books would go on to become the Trilogy of the Rat. He wouldn't be in the spotlight until 1987, when he released what is still considered one of his best works, Norwegian Wood the book that garnered him worldwide attention and solidified him as a great author. I'm not going to go in depth about the book or any other that I will mention because I really think everyone should read them themselves and experience them on their own. My first acquaintance with Murakami's writing was about a half a dozen years ago when I was uh, teaching full-time in the Department of Performance Studies at Northwestern. I happened upon Murakami in a bookstore, and I, I read his collection of stories after the quake. Uh, his heroes tend to be young, um, ordinary men and women who are caught in extraordinary and vexing circumstances. And uh, in the aftermath of 9-11, because after the quake was about the aftermath of a catastrophe. My students really connected. Magic usually provides an escape from reality for the reader. It provides solutions to the problems the characters must overcome and often makes you think how much easier life would be if we only lived in a magical world with wizards. In Murakami's books, this is the opposite. Magic is seen as a burden and oftentimes creates the problems. The supernatural isn't seen as something incredible. Is seen as part of everyday life, and a bad part of that. Reading After Dark, a book about a girl's late night adventure across Tokyo, you feel like the world is just like ours, only more complicated because of the supernatural happenings within it. Finishing the book, you're left with more questions than answers. In Murakami's books, magic isn't the answer to everything. Magic is the reason why there are so many questions to begin with. What a lot of authors do is make it feel like the world revolves around their characters, and oftentimes it does. In James Dashner's Maze Runner, the kids are the last hope for humanity's survival, Harry Potter needs to fight off Voldemort, and so on and so on. But in Murakami's works, the main character never is the most charismatic, or strongest, or smartest in the book. They're often the outcasts of society, who are just, simply put, average. Murakami makes up to six drafts of his novels before deciding that they're done, and it shows. With his books, every word fits perfectly. You never feel confused or that some parts weren't explained enough or that the scenery is too vague. Reading Murakami is like the fine wine at a dinner party. I wouldn't call myself an avid reader, but during quarantine I did read a couple of books from various authors, and Murakami's works are by far the most enjoyable to read. So now, in 2020, he is 71, having amassed a very impressive collection of books, and having won multiple awards, most notably the 2006 World Fantasy Award for his novel Kafka on the Shore. So now I challenge you to read a book by Murakami. 
We're all in quarantine, so it's the perfect time to get lost in a book and discover a great new author. If I had to recommend any books, I would definitely start with After Dark, Blind Willow Sleeping Woman, and Dance Dance Dance, in that order. After Dark is a very short 200 page book, Blind Willow Sleeping Woman is a collection of short stories, and Dance 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 is a novel. So anyway, that's all I have to say. Thank you for listening. Bye.